हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई एग्जाम बी इन कंटिन्यूशन टू द डिस्कशन ऑन द पास्ट ईयर बेस्ड क्वेश्चन फॉर आर बी आई ग्रेड बी डी ई पी आर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इन पार्ट एट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन मैक्रो इकनॉमिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स वी आर गिवन द कंजम्पन एंड वी आर गिवन द इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द इक्लिब्रियम लेवल ऑफ आउटपुट सो हाउ वी डू दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वी नो दैट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द आउटपुट इट इज कंजम्पन प्लस इन्वेस्टमेंट वी आर गिवन द कंजम्पन फंक्शन इट इज फोर्टी प्लस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन जीरो वाई डी प्लस इन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज फिफ्टी सो हेयर इट विल बी नाइंटी प्लस so what will happen if we take it here it will become point 1 yd is equals to 90 so it will become income will become 900 so the output is equilibrium output is 900 so the right answer for this question is d it is a very simple easy and direct question it can come in one marks question number 37 suppose i is equals to 70 c is equals to 60 plus 0.8 yd yd is equals to y let's say investment is spending increases by rupees 10 establish the multiplier effect of 10 rupees increase in autonomous spending so here we have to establish the multiplier effect if the spending is increased by rupees 10 how we solve this type of question first of all we know the output is equals to consumption plus investment and it will be 60 plus 0.8 y plus investment is 7 130 plus 0.8 y and it will be y will equal to 130 upon 0.2 so it will become 650 now what happens this is the scenario first now we have to increase this spending or investment by rupees 10 what is the level of output in this scenario it will be 60 plus 0.8 y now it will become 80 so here 140 upon 0.2 will give the value of y so new y will become 700 so there is a change of rupees 50 in the level of output in the value of output so if you have to find the value for the multiplier it will be change in y upon change in i so it will become 50 upon 10 so it will be 5 so here the value for the multiplier if is given by value 5 also find the value of multiplier using the consumption function as it will be 1 upon 1 minus mpc and mpc is given to you 0.8 so it will become 1 upon 0.2 therefore it will become 5 questions from multiplier has been frequently asked in the past year so prepare well for these types of question that are related to multiplier effects the answer for this question is 5 question number 38 let the rate of inflation in an economy be 4.2% the growth rate of velo velocity of money is 2% and the growth rate of real gdp be is 6% now according to milton friedman's k percent rule the growth rate of money supply for maintaining a stable price will be so here we have to find a growth rate for money supply that will maintain a stable price how we find the rate of growth of money supply it is equals to growth rate of real gdp minus growth rate of velocity of money so it will be 6 because the growth rate in real gdp is 6 and the growth rate of velocity of money is 2 so it is simply 4 so here the answer is 
it will it, this type of question can be asked in one marks because it is very simple and formula based question question number 39 suppose a sh economy shortened production function is this and a uh, function for demand for the labor is given to us and for the supply is given to us and we have to find equilibrium level of wage rate and price level is given to us so we have to find the equilibrium wage rate at a given price so for this condition at equilibrium what will happen the demand for the labor should be equal to the supply of the labor so here what is the demand for 25 minus 12.5 w upon p should be equal to 70 plus 5 w upon p so p is given one to us so it will simply be 175 minus 12.5 w is equals to 70 plus 5 w if we solve this equation we will find the value for the w will be 6 so here b6 is the correct this question can be asked in two marks question number four if a function for c and i are given to us the value of i is given to us and we are given g is equals to t that is 300 and now we have to find the equilibrium level for the income we all know y is equals to consumption plus investment plus government expenditure so it will be equal to 250 plus 0 0.5 y minus t here is given to us that is 300 plus investment function is given to us 250 minus 500 into 0 0.1 that is the value for interest rate and g is given to us as 300 so here putting these values in this equation you can easily find the value for the equilibrium level of the income that will be equal to 1200 this question is important for two marks and these types of questions have been frequently asked in the past year answer for this question is b this was all for this video and we are going to discuss more questions in the coming video and prepare well for your exam if you haven't subscribed the channel subscribe it and press the bell icon for future notification all the best for your exams